You are about to begin your DynaSplint instructional video, but just a note before we start. Most of the time, DynaSplint systems are a rental product, and you are responsible to return it at the end of your treatment so that you're not charged for the replacement cost of the splint. When your doctor, therapist, and DynaSplint sales consultant agree that your treatment is complete, please view the simple How to Return Your DynaSplint video located at the bottom of this page. The shipping's prepaid and your label's in the box. Now, let's get started. Welcome to DynaSplint. Congratulations and thank you for choosing us to help you restore your range of motion. We hope you find these videos helpful and easy to follow. Please refer to the labeling, tension setting, and positioning your Dynasplint consultant set for you on your initial fitting. Thank you, and we hope to stretch beyond your expectations. In order to apply your supination pronation Dynasplint, open or loosen the back of upper arm cuff and the straps on the forearm and wrist stabilizer. Next, slide your arm all the way into your Dynasplint until your thumb is seated through the wrist stabilizer. Next, tighten the back of upper arm cuff, then tighten the two inch strap on your forearm. This may be either on the top or the bottom of your forearm. Finally, tighten the rest of your hook and loop straps on the wrist stabilizer. After securing your hand in the supination pronation dyna splint, increase the tension using the black knob until you feel a strong stretch with no pain. Place the dyna splint on a pillow on your lap. Your elbow should be bent to 90 degrees and resting at your side. Finally, to remove your DynaSplint system, decrease the tension using the black knob and turning it counterclockwise. Loosen or remove the back of upper arm cuff. Then, loosen the two inch strap on your forearm. And finally, loosen all of the other hook and loop straps on the wrist stabilizer. Slide your arm out of the back of the unit. Please review the tension your DynaSplint sales consultant set for you initially. On the first day, wear the DynaSplint system for up to two cumulative hours. On the second day, try to extend the time beyond two hours by wearing the splint at multiple daytime applications. The most common wearing schedule reporting clinical results is two to three sessions per day, 20 to 30 minutes per session. Studies show that longer periods of low force stretch produce greater permanent elongation of connective tissue. During the process of regaining your range of motion, if you have any questions or concerns, contact your DynaSplint representative.